everybody. So this video introduces how to use UF apps to access Autodesk products such as Revit and Navisworks. Uh, as you may know, Autodesk products don't support Apple. So if you are using Apple uh, laptop such as a uh, MacBook or uh, a Mac, you know, any Apple PC, uh, you wouldn't be able to open any uh, Autodesk product. So in order to do that, you have two solutions. One solution is to add a dual operation system on your um, Apple uh, laptop and a computer, uh, the secondary Windows operation system. The other option you have is to use UF apps. So UF apps is actually a cloud server service hosted on UF campus. Uh, you are using your web browser as a UI, user interface, and receiver of the any software program. And the computing part will totally rely on the cloud server. So your laptop or uh, computer will just, uh, you know, the, the UI, the windows of the program. So in that way, uh, you can use it from a PC, Windows PC, or from any Apple laptop or uh, computer. So in order to do that, you have to install a program called a Citrix receiver on your MacBook or PC. So let's just search for UF apps. And uh, in the result window, uh, if you are using a MacBook, just uh, uh, click this uh, access UF apps from a Mac. So this web page shows you how to uh, download and install this uh, Citrix receiver. And similarly, uh, if you are using it from a uh, Windows PC, you can click the link. But if you are using Windows PC, I would definitely recommend you to install uh, Revit and Navis work on, on your person on a local computer. So I installed a Citrix receiver already, so I wouldn't do that. Uh, if you don't know how to install a new program on your MacBook, you can definitely Google that. It's not difficult at all. So once you install the Citrix receiver, uh, just click this uh, orange button, log in to UF apps, and log in with your UF ID. So now it sees, uh, you know, since I installed the receiver correctly, now it gave me, gives me this page. And if you click this apps, it actually lists all the uh, software applications you can access remotely. You know, and it's very convenient, you know, sometimes you don't want to install uh, a lot of uh, big programs such as Photoshop, you can definitely remotely access that. It's totally free uh, to UF students and the faculty. So you can also use the search bar to search the program you are interested. Let's say we want to use Revit and you just click the button, like a click a button on your uh, personal computer. It asks you, do you want to allow this page to open the Citrix web, uh, work play space uh, launcher? Uh, yes. Let me try it again. It should be working. Sometimes you are running uh, uh, internet speed issue. So uh, since I'm at home right now, uh, sometimes I, I had have a similar problem that it, you have to try a couple of times to open that uh, to see if you can connect to the cloud server. Like I said, you know, sometimes you you might be running the internet connection issue. So it uh, it did. Uh, I, I did spend a couple of minutes and tried like three, four times and finally it's working. I don't know if you can see my screen now, uh, but now I actually opened uh, this uh, Revit 2021 successfully. And you probably noticed that I set up your storage to configure to secure access to your cloud and local files. Uh, I would definitely recommend you, oh, sorry this again. I would definitely look, uh, recommend you to do this one first. You know, one thing that I was running into, one problem I was running into was um, uh, it was kind of slow to save uh, my Revit model. Uh, the reason is, you know, by default, your uh, C drive uh, will also be on the cloud server. So uh, you actually operating everything um, um, on remote server. Uh, so, but if you set up, if you configure uh, your preferred cloud server that it will make the save uh, much faster. So let me just go set up. Just give it a second. So this is called a Kumo app. So you can link it to your Google Drive, to UF OneDrive. Uh, so I wouldn't show the details, but uh, if you just go log in and uh, finish the setup process, um, you can basically set up, uh, let's say, OneDrive. Um, to save all your Revit model. So uh, there are two benefits. One thing, you wouldn't uh, lose it. 
let's see, never. Uh, you wouldn't lose it, and second, you will see uh, the save and read speed will be much much faster. So I will basically skip this 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 step now. Um, now, by the way, you have requires a, a dual uh, verification of your password. So now let's go back to this model. Now, what you see is actually just a just so uh, you can imagine this is more kind of like a web browser window, but it behaves just like a, a program. So if I can open a program. All right, so it opens the model and uh, I can go to the 3D view of the model. Yeah, so I basically can just do whatever I can do with my local Revit. So uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any question, any issues, please let me know. Or alternatively, you can send a request ticket to UFIT. But this UF app is actually a pretty good solution for who are using uh, Apple laptops and, and uh, computers. So I skipped uh, uh, setting up the cloud storage part before. But I just uh, double thought about it. I think it will be very helpful for me to go through it again. Uh, so uh, using UF apps, like I said, uh, UF is pretty much saving all the files on the cloud server. And it might, you might run into difficulty downloading uh, the files. If you, let's say, if you uh, want to uh, work the file directly with another computer. So it, it will be much easier if you can save the file on some cloud server such as Google Drive or OneDrive, uh, UF OneDrive. It's actually very easy to set it up and connect it with your UF, UF apps. Just go directly to this web address, kumo.apps.uf.edu. Once again, kumo.apps.ufl.edu. And just go login. And once again, login with your UF apps. And of course, the dual verification. Just give me a second. All right, so now since I logged in, and you can select the cloud servers uh, you want to use. And let's say I use the OneDrive and just basically just authorize it. Uh, and you can use your Google Drive and just go authorize. So basically just uh, log in with your um, UF uh, email address. Uh, so I'm running some difficulty now with UF Drive. Uh, but I actually set up my uh, OneDrive, so let me just uh, close that. So once I set up, set it up, I can just uh, open my Revit, uh, UF app Revit again. Just give it a second. All right, so let me open a model. Let's say uh, you are working on this model with UF apps and you just made some changes. Uh, let me just uh, go closer. Let's say you just change this wall to a different tab. Let me see, um, brick wall. All right, so you want to save it. So now don't just click save because that would save the file on the UF app server by default. What you want to do is go to file and go to save as project. And now you open this window. So uh, it's kind of like your, your personal windows, uh, uh, window system. But in fact, this is also, this is again on the cloud server. Uh, but now since I, uh, registered my OneDrive. Now, if I go to my computer, you will see this option, OneDrive at UF. If you didn't do that Kumo setup, you wouldn't see this. But since I did my OneDrive, I see this one. So I can just open this one. All right. And now I can get a version, let's say version two. And just go save. Okay, so now it's saved on the OneDrive, which means if I go to my personal computer with OneDrive, so I do have my OneDrive here, and just give it a second. Now you see the model here. So it's actually very convenient. You are using this uh, 
uh, web browser to access Revit, but when you save the file, you can actually see that on your local computer. All right.